Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Destiny Rise of Iron News update. So thanks to the weekly update back on October the 13th, and obviously it was delayed a little bit. Now, we got some news coming in right here. First things first, um, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the light level increase, release date for Heroic Raid, and another update coming our way. So we're going to start with uh, the light level increase here. And according to uh, senior designer Victoria Dalbum, um, starting on October the 18th, which will correspond to the release of Heroic, Heroic Mode for Wrath of Machine, the maximum light will now be increased to 400, and that's the max light level that will go up. The many reward sources will definitely increase the max light. So we'll start from the lowest all the way to the highest, and what activities that you'll end up getting. So starting at 365 light, that's the max you can go, it'll be for uh, rare engrams, that's the blue ones, and the SIVA Crisis Strike playlist only. So again, rare engrams and the SIVA Crisis Strike playlist is now going to provide rewards up to 365 light. Starting with the next one, uh, we have Ar Archon's Forge, SIVA Heroic Strikes, and Legendary Engrams, that's the purple ones, are now going to provide rewards, which will go up to 385 light. And here's the big one, ladies and gentlemen. We have Strike Hordes. Uh, I'm not, not sure which ones not sure which ones are the Strike Hordes. Um, the Nightfall, Exotic Engrams, those are the yellow ones, Trials of Osiris, Crucible, Iron Banner, and I'm going to throw this one in because it was not in the paragraph there. Wrath of the Machine uh, Hard Raid will now provide rewards up to 400 light. I'll say it again. Strike Hordes, Nightfall, Exotic Engrams, Trials of Osiris, Crucible, Iron Banner, and Wrath of the Machine Hard Mode Raid Rewards will go up to 400 light. So those will be the rewards for each of the three light specific categories to 365 to 385 and to 400 light now again for the three major events here for wrath of the machine Charles of osiris and iron banner uh, these activities again will now attempt to reward higher light on average compared to your current light so let's say for example here let's say i'm at light level 393 Let's say I'm at, let's say I'm at uh, light level 393. I got a faction package from either the Crucible or Queen's Wrath, etc., etc. You open it up, and the light reward drops go up to around uh, 394, 395 at best. That's pretty much an example right there. Also, artifacts and ghosts are eventually dropping from viewer sources than intended, but have now been added into the completion rewards for Archon's Forge. Those will now drop up to 400 light as well. Same for faction packages as well. The re in which ghosts and now artifacts are rewarded are now going up. Same thing for Eris faction packages, etc, etc. So faction, faction packages like Eris, Queen's Wrath, Vanguard, Future War Called, and so on. Uh, for artifacts and ghosts, uh, it will probably go up and uh, drop up to 400 light. So that explains the uh, the, the light level rewards there. Um, well we have another update on our way, ladies and gentlemen. It's our first one for year three. We have update 2.4.1. Excuse me. So again, update 2.4.1. Uh, it'll be deploying. Excuse me, it'll be deploying at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on Tuesday. And uh, one other thing to mention to you folks, we now have a confirmed release time for Heroic Mode for Wrath of the Machine Raid. Heroic Mode will start at 5, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on that same day on Tuesday. So, pretty much mark it on your calendar, ladies and gentlemen. In order, we have update 2.4.1, 2.4.2, 2.4.3, 2.4.4, 2.4.5, 2.4.6, 2.4.7, 2.4.8, 2.4.9, 2.4.10, 2.4.11, 2
deploying at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then four hours later, Heroic Mode for Wrath of the Machine Raid comes out at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, in the Pacific, that's 10 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Pacific in that order. So it should be a whole lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen, uh, coming our way in the next uh, in the next week or two. And again, later on at the end of the month, we have Festival of the Lost coming our way very soon. My hunches tell me it's probably going to start October 25th, but I'm not sure yet. So more info to follow later on. Until then, folks, uh, that was our uh, quick little weekly update preview. So uh, get grind into that uh, 385 light because I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot to mention you. Um, before we go, um, I want to bring you up today on the two activities that you need to recommend in light for. Uh, we know for well, heroic will remain the same at 350. Um, for nightfall, recommended light obviously will be the same, but the exception of nightfall right now. And starting on Tuesday, when the update is deployed, it will be increased to a recommended light level of 380. That's right, folks. The recommended light level for Nightfall is going to go up to 380. And uh, for Wrath of the Machine Raid, if I were to take an HK guess, I'd say right around 385 to 390 max. That will be the recommended light level, just like that. So I think for the, f the first part, part of it, like say, Volsic will be right around 370, Siege Machine 380, and then Axis 390. That's my theory. So who knows? Again, it's going to be a lot of fun starting on Tuesday. Definitely want to get grinding to that 380 at best. So far, I got at least two characters at 385. And the other one at around 384. So I'm pretty much ready to go, folks. I don't know if I'm going to get Worlds first, but odds are I probably won't. But who knows? And again, good, good luck on the teams getting ready to go for Worlds first uh, for Heroic Mode Completion for the Rap Raid Tuesday starting at 5 p.m. Until then, folks, thank you very much for watching. And until then, folks, thanks very, very much for supporting the channel. Definitely do leave a subscription there. That would definitely mean a lot to me. We are that close to 300 subs, so if, if you definitely leave a sub there, that would definitely, definitely help out this channel a lot. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, I'll be recording Heroic Raid very, very soon from start to finish. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time for more. Peace out.